Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to create a cool project. We're going to segment out different car parts, so basically just different parts of the car all the way around. We're going to train a custom YOLO 8 optic segmentation model with the Ultralytics hub. So we're going to cover all of it in this video here, how we can take a model, how we can take a data set, then we can train the model, and then we can segment out different car parts in individual images around the car. So let's just jump straight into the Ultralytics documentation. If we go inside our data sets view, so we're going to find a data set for the car part that we're going to train our custom ULV8 optic segmentation model on. So if you just scroll down to the segmentation parts, we have set car parts dash sec. So this is actually like the data set that we're going to use. So we have a train set, validation set, and also a test set. If we scroll a bit further down, we can see we have this data set YAML file, which is just going to set up the whole structure. So the path, like the root directory, and also the path for our train validation and test set, but we have all of it in here direct. But if you're going to use your own custom data set, you will need to go in and change these values. Here we see the number of classes that we're going to detect. So 22 different classes or like 23 in total for all of these different parts around the car. So we're both going to segment out like back bumper, back door, back glass, hood, left mirror, object, right mirror, tailgate, trunk, wheel, and so on. So basically just every single part around the whole car. We also have a downloading here. You can either just copy paste it, throw it into a browser and it will download to your local machine and you can use it directly. Then you can upload it directly into the Autolytics hub. I'm going to show you that in just a second. So right now it's going to extract it. We will have our test train and validation split. And then we also have the YAML file here, which we just saw inside the documentation. So if you just go back again, we have the whole YAML file here. We have the train test and validation split. So that's pretty much everything that we need to do. We can also go in and use it directly if we just want to train it in our own local environment. So right now we can just copy paste this code snippet, throw it into our own custom Python script, Google Colab notebook or whatever, and we can train the model in there. We can extract, we can export the model, extract the results, evaluate it, and then we can use it in our own applications and projects. If we just take a look at the sample data and annotations, these are some of the images that we're going to train the model on, and then we can see all of these individual car parts, which is just segmented out. So we have all of these labels directly, and then we're going to train a custom ULV8 model for segmenting out each of these individual car parts. So this is actually like a pretty complex task that we're trying to solve with this segmentation model, because again, it's really hard to distinguish between the front and also the back door, and also from one side to the other, and in a bunch of different cars, even though they're like upside down, all of these different images that we can see and a number of different like car variations. So it could be like pickup trucks, sedans and so on. So we have a bunch of variations in the cars as well. But right now let's just go into the Autolytics hub and let's see how we can upload the data set and train it in there. So we're just jump straight into the Autolytics hub. If we go inside the data sets tab, we can now see that I've already uploaded this car parts. So when we're going to upload our own custom data set, we can see that we both have classification, detection, RN bounding boxes, segmentation, and post estimation. We just need to choose segmentation in this example. We can set up the data set. Even if we just want to do the detection, we can also just choose that directly. And then it's just going to use the bounding boxes. Then we can just call it car parts segmentation. There we go. We can add our description as well. We can see the data set zip file, see an example of the data set for the structure. But right now we can basically just go in and take the car parks data set that we have just downloaded, drag and drop it in here, create it, and it's going to upload it into the Autolytics hub. And we can use it directly to train our models, export it into a Google Colab notebook, and then we can train the model, use it in our own applications and projects directly. So let's now go, just go inside this one here. We can see that we have our training set. We just get some thumbnails here with all of the different classes just to see a preview. We can even see this example, it looks pretty cool. So we have our train set, validation set, and we also have our test set. And we can go in and get an overview here just to see our class distribution to see if we actually like have some class imbalances in our data set. So we can actually see we have a lot of class imbalance in our data set, so the left door, back left door, back left line, and so on. We have a lot of front bumpers, front glass, front light, hood, and so on. But let's now going to see how we can train the model directly because now we have the data set. Now we can just go up and hit train model. Now we can choose which of the YOLV8 models we want to choose. We have these five variations. We can just get a quick overview over the accuracy and also the speed of the models. And then we can just choose which of the ones that we want to use depending on like how fast we want to run it and also the accuracy that we want to achieve. So right now let's just go with the nano model just for simplicity. We can just continue. There we go. Now we can either train with the Autolytics Cloud directly, so we don't need to write any code at all. We don't need to use anything. We just have to click Start Training, and it will train a custom 
object segmentation model. You can export it or use it with the Autolytics Hub Inference API. We can also go inside Google Holab Notebook. We can just copy paste this one in here, and then you can train it directly. It will lock all the metrics. You can see it inside the hub for all the live metrics and the exact same way as if you're using the cloud training tool. You can also bring your own agent if you want to train it locally, but we already went over that inside the Autolytics documentation. So let's now go back into the Autolytics cloud training again, and let's just train it directly in here. So we don't need to take care of any GPUs, any setup, any Google Colab notebooks and so on. Let's just try to go with 20 epochs. We can also set for a time period. Right now, we're just going to train on an NVIDIA T4, pay now, but I'm going to use my Autolytics hub account with my balance. If you're running out of balance, you can just top it up. So now we're going to hit start training. Then it's going to set up our cloud instance. It will just take a minute or two. After that, it's going to start the training. It will lock the metric, the live metrics directly in here. So we can cover like and track the mean average position, the losses, the box, lo box losses, and all of the metrics that we are used to. We can see them directly in here. So now we can see that it has like, like started the training. We can either start the training and also resume it. Now it's just going to set up the estimate. We can see the number of epochs remaining, and then we can just track it over time while it's training. So now we can see that it has started training. 10% and the training is still in progress. We have 18 epochs left. We can either start the training and also resume it. So if we just take a look at the metrics, we both have the precision, recall, mean error position, and all of those metrics. Here we see it for the first epoch. We can see all the values, and then we can see how it's acting like just um, increasing over time. If we scroll a bit further down, we can see the losses, and those should be decreasing over time. We both have the box loss, class loss, and also our update loss. If we scroll a bit further down, we will just get our data set overview again. So right now, let's just let it run here for the full 20 epochs. Let's take a look at the results and how we can use the models, export it, or just set it up with the inference API directly. So now our model is done training for 20 epochs. We can see that it has kind of converged up here. We can see that it's increasing in the first like 10 epochs and then it's starting to like converge at the end. But if we take a look at the mean error position, it ends up at around like 0.66, 68 here, and we can also see the mean error position from 0.50 to 0.95, and also the precision and recall is also fairly good. We actually have pretty good recall compared to precision as well, but now we can see these metrics here. The model can definitely be trained for longer. If we take a look at the losses, they're still decreasing, so the model hasn't converged 100% yet. So if you just go inside the preview tab here, we will get a bunch of test images that we can take a look at. We can either test it on images, but we can also use a camera. We can specify the image size, the confidence threshold, and also the intersection over union threshold. You can even go and get a preview of your model in real time on your mobile phone with an app. So we can download the Autolytics Hub app and you can test it out on both Android and iOS. So just try to grab one of these examples here. Let's just start with this one here. It looks pretty interesting. It's going to do inference and we should be able to see the results in just a second. So here we go. We can see that we have the front bumper. We have like uh, the windshield here. We have the front door, rear door here, which is act like pretty cool. We can set the confidence threshold and we can also see all of the classes that we detect over here. So we have high confidence scores for the front bumper, the hood, also the front door and also the front light. But we also had a lot of classes of those instances in our data set, as I remember. So we're actually detecting the back glass somewhere, but I can't really see that. Could be could be the purple one here at the end, but I'm not too sure about that one. Let's try to go down and take one of the other examples. Let's take this car here, which is not like rotated crazily around. So here we go. It's going to do the inference. Now we can see we get some pretty awesome results. We even have the side mirror here. I think that is not a class. Let's go over here. Yeah, we can see you have the right mirror and also left mirror, but this is left mirror in this example. So we can see here that it pretty much detects all the classes that we have in our image and they were actually like want to detect in this example we could probably even like have another class for the back part here of the car at the c pillar and even the roof as well so we can add more classes to the data set but this is act like still pretty cool it only trained for like 15 minutes on 20 epochs we grabbed the data set grabbed the model trained about the other legs hop and now we get these results on a custom data set we can also go in and deploy it with the Autodex Cloud API, or you can export the models to PyTorch and you can use it in your own applications and projects. So this is how easy it is to use. We actually just created this project in a few minutes. This is how easy it is with Autolytics. We have the data set, model, train it, export it, use it in your own applications and projects. Definitely go in and test it out, both test out the Autolytics Hub, play around with the data sets, try it out on your own data sets as well. And then I'll just see you guys in the next video. Until then, happy training.